Hello and welcome to Making the Great. I'm Teresa Lukens along with the Chancellor of Community Colleges of Spokane, Christine Johnson. And uh, Global Learning, that's an exciting uh, program for Community Colleges of Spokane. And I think a lot of people would be surprised to know that we have a, a large community in our global learning uh, sector. We do indeed, and it's fairly new. I, we've always had a few uh, students from all around the globe. Uh, however, we've had a, a very focused uh, interest in bringing students from all kinds of backgrounds and nationalities and countries of origin to our region and it uh, because it enriches you know our community to learn about different cultures and some of our students don't travel abroad so it's a way of kind of learning about the world through students who come here and uh, we have a very exciting work going on uh, students from all over the world um, there's a big interest in, in a lot of uh, countries in Asia uh, not only uh, China, of course, but, uh, you know, Japan, Korea, um, just, you know, a wide variety. Uh, we have a number of uh, countries from South America, Brazil being one of those. And then we've had some very uh, interesting uh, programs where we've sent our students. Uh, this last summer, we sent students to Brazil uh, for uh, six weeks. They uh, worked on a project uh -huh. teaching Brazilian students English and our students were paid for that work and uh, they had a, a great experience lived with families and whatnot and very good experience we also had a faculty member who was very excited and almost wanted, decided to stay in Brazil and so we, and then now the, the Brazilian students want to come study here so you know these relationships around the globe work and uh, 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 one of the other very interesting things is you know we, we launched our American Honors mm -hmm. program which of course very rigorous uh, course of study for our students and some of the international students want to participate in the honors program because it's rigorous and uh, and they're uh, signing up for it too so that's kind of a different twist on our work. When these students come in to, to go to community colleges um, we don't have dormitories so where do Correct. they live? How do uh, they... You know they, they find our uh, global staff finds uh, uh, you know places to recommend we don't run dorms mm -hmm. as you say uh, but uh, you know, apartments that are where other international students gather from, you know, from various uh, of our universities in the region. And so they, they find places to live that are close to uh -huh. either Spokane Falls or Spokane Community College. And uh, then they form their own community. And uh, I, I think one of the things that really attracts international students to our region is the beauty of the region, uh, kind of the size of community. Mm -hmm. Sometimes parents don't want their their children going across the world, uh, you know, to a huge city. So we're kind of a nice sized city. And uh, uh, we just had uh, about uh, a dozen students from China who came this fall. And some of the parents accompanied them to just see where their children were going to yeah. be living, you know, what kind of a community. So it's really pretty exciting. What types of things are they studying? It's such a broad to? array of areas. You know, we, we have some students who want to study in America to, to learn English well, you know, the, the English, mm -hmm. the American accent and so forth. So some students start in English second language and then they move to their area of study. Our career technical education programs are very popular, a wide variety of areas. And so we have that. And then we have students who want, you know, the liberal arts and just, you know, humanities fields. So it really is a broad range of areas of study. And then their interest is, of course, is transferring to a university. So they want to be a, a graduate of a community college and then transfer to a university. So it's, it's really quite exciting. I know we have staff, faculty that travel out to some of these Indeed. countries. What kind of a message do they take about community colleges when they go in into uh, and visit with some of these potential students? Well, you know, the, the exciting thing, and we're very uh, pleased that our faculty uh, represent us so well. So we had, uh, let's see, last year we had a couple of our faculty, one from Spokane Falls, one from Spokane Community College, that uh, went to China and they taught in China uh, for the summer. And, you know, what a great experience for them. But uh, obviously the students and the faculty there have great interest in the way we teach, the way that American faculty teach, uh, the kind of, um, uh, you know, the way the curriculum is uh -huh. developed. It is not dictated by the state. You know, it's the faculty develop it. So it's all very of those different from what they're different. You know, the to. professional development, 
the, the uh, level of inquiry that students can have in class of just ask any a question and, you know, just the openness, I think, of how um, American colleges and universities uh, conduct their teaching. And so I think all of that is new for the students who come from around the world. At the same time, we learned from them about their culture. So we had a very, uh, we made a very good impression in terms of the quality of their faculty. That was no surprise to me. And uh, then they were more interested in Spokane because our faculty were there. So it's, it's a, a, a good experience, our faculty, and they represent us so well. And then we get other students who want to come here and teach. And, and it's a great professional development experience for our faculty. And then it results in other students learning about our region that they, you know, they didn't know about mm -hmm. Spokane before this. Yeah, absolutely. You mentioned Brazil, China, some of the Asian countries. What other countries are we reaching out to? Well, we're really uh, all over the globe, quite literally. And, uh, you know, we have a, a number of students from Africa, different, uh, different uh, countries in Africa. Uh, we have a number of Tunisian students. Uh, we participate in the Fulbright uh, Scholar Program, so we also have faculty from some of those countries. Uh, um, and so, uh, you know, we really are uh, enriching the, the community culturally, and, and then uh, the students that come here have a very high quality experience and I think a very good impression of America and how we, and America, the country and the people uh, that we, you know, the way we live, the way we interact with each other. So it's really very mm -hmm. beneficial. I know we have a very active club for those international students and just, um, you know, having talked to some of them, you know, they take them on tons of excursions oh, and they, yes. you know, they're learning to ski and snowboard and exactly. do some things they've never done before. So. Well, uh, you know, often as, as a, uh, a world traveler <laughs> myself, I think, uh, you know, uh, for example, in some of the African countries where the climate is so different and it's so dry, and I just, I can't uh, imagine what, you know, just as when I've traveled, I thought, like, look at this place. It, it, it may be so different than what we have in the students coming here and seeing all these rivers and lakes and lush forests. It, it, yeah, and then it the just, snow comes. And then the snow. <laughs> and so it's really very enjoyable to see the growth and development. And, uh, you know, we're building bridges and we're uh, building levels of understanding and respect uh, all the way around uh, about other peoples, other countries, and then they in turn about us. So. Yeah, absolutely. And then, of course, the technology helps them stay in touch with their families. They and, do, yeah. indeed. And, you know, there's something, uh, lots to be said about, uh, you know, just the, the young generations. They like many of the same things. And one of the things we've learned from our um, faculty and also from our students is uh, the uh, international students come and you know, they want to buy American jeans, jeans made in America. <laughs> and, you know, just things that, that young people do, the, you know, again, whether it's the sports or the, you know, they're certainly excellent at all social media, you know, far better than I am. And uh, so, so those are commonalities that students have no matter what country they're from. How do we handle as a faculty and staff on both campuses uh, the different languages that are going to come into play. Are we always equipped to, to do that as we reach out to more and more of these countries? We do, and, and of course the students are coming to learn English, so of course that's, so that's what they primary. want. They, they want to hear uh, English spoken, uh, you know, not, not by a, a, a person who's a native of their country, but mm -hmm. a native of our country. And uh, so they, uh, they, that's one of the areas that, you know, they, they really, and they want to uh, mingle with with Americans they you know mm -hmm. they want the environment to be they want to see how American families live what we do uh, you know just become uh, a part of the community become a part mm -hmm. of the community and so uh, our faculty are excellent and they know all of the uh, techniques for teaching a second language to someone who's learning English so uh, the students make progress and they move on to the next level and then they take on the you know the content classes whether it's history or mathematics or you know, science, yeah. and, 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 and they do well. So I'd say the, the quality of the preparation is good, and then the, uh, the classroom environment, very fascinating because it's so international, really global. And, and we think that in turn uh, prepares our students to work in a global environment, in a global economy, and so they exit uh, CCS, uh, you know, really well prepared to work in any kind of a company and any kind yeah, of setting. becoming more and more important all the time. All the time, you know, just um, again, um, learning to communicate and respect differences and, and yet uphold our own values. Absolutely. Well, Global Learning, just one of the great programs at Community Colleges of Spokane. If you'd like more information, go to our website.